Hello, my name is Tony Pike and I am the founder of CAT3C. CAT3C is designed to provide supplemental training as you work your way through your ATPL studies. To help you achieve your goal of becoming a professional pilot, CAT3C have developed an invaluable series of unique EASA ATPL exam passbooks, which have been specifically designed for the iPad and are available in the Apple iBook store. The passbooks contain hundreds of exam style questions and are supported by clear in-depth explanations and interactive diagrams. The link to the iBooks can be found on the web page below or at the CAT3C website at the Bookstore tab. Additionally, we currently deliver three-day classroom-based general navigation courses and will also be providing future interactive online training sessions plus a range of pre-recorded video seminars. More information on our online sessions and our three-day UK-based classroom training courses can be found at our website www.cat3c.com But for now, sit back and enjoy this QEV. The ratio of ellipticity for the flattening of the Earth is 1 over 298. When measured at the equator, the Earth's semi-major axis is 6378.4 kilometers. What is the equivalent length of the Earth's semi-minor axis, again in kilometers, measured along the polar axis? A. 6367 kilometers. B. 6399.9 kilometers. C. 6357 kilometers. Or D. 6378.4 kilometers. The first thing we have to do is to understand the ratio of ellipticity. Contrary to popular belief, the Earth is not a perfect sphere. It is, in fact, an elliptical shape, like so, known as an oblate spheroid. This gives us an equatorial axis, known as the major axis, and a vertical polar axis, or minor axis. The relationship between the major axis and the minor axis, or the equatorial and polar axes, is 1 over 298. This is the international standard unit accepted for this uh, relationship between the two. Now what the examiner has told us is that the semi-major axis, or half of the major axis, is 6,378.4 kilometers. And he has asked us to calculate the value of the semi-minor axis. Again, half of the minor axis. In order to do that, we need to use this ratio of ellipticity. The formula we will use is semi-minor axis, abbreviated to SMI, is equal to semi-major axis, abbreviated to SMA, minus the semi-major axis divided by 298. We know the value of the semi-major axis is 6378.4. So to find the semi-minor axis, we have to subtract from that 6,378.4 divided by 298. And to find the value of that, we use the calculator, and we enter into the calculator 6378.4 divided by 298, and it equals 21.4 kilometers. Subtract 21.4 from 6378.4, and it gives us 6357.0 kilometers. So looking at the optional answers, the final answer is going to be C, 6357 kilometers.